Hi everyone, welcome back to Show Me Mo Vegan and another What I Eat in a Day video. I'm Wendy and I eat a whole food vegan diet. And there are so many different ways to do this. I personally don't follow any one doctor or another. I kind of take bits and pieces from each of them and incorporate what I like and I leave the rest. A few weeks ago, I did a What I Eat in a Day incorporating Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen, and today I wanted to show you how to follow the starch solution. The starch solution is a book by Dr. John McDougall, and it's a way of eating where you emphasize whole plant food starches. These are things like whole grains, beans, potatoes, and other starchy vegetables. And that makes up the bulk of your calories. You make up the rest of your calories in non-starchy vegetables and a little bit of fruit. Generally, Dr. McDougall emphasizes avoiding fats, even whole plant foods like nuts, seeds, and avocados. A lot of people use this eating pattern to lose weight, so avoiding the fats can be helpful in that case. But we'll get into some of the details as we get into the meals. So my chosen starch for breakfast is one of my favorites, oatmeal. I have just a little bit left of my batch cooked steel cut oats. And for this, I just take two cups of steel cut oats, five cups of water, and I cook it at high pressure for seven or eight minutes. Once it's done, I added a can of pumpkin and some chopped dates. So that's all that's mixed in so far, but I'll also add some wild blueberries. I'll heat that up in the microwave and top it with some ground flax seed. And then I also always have a smoothie. I'm not going to go over exactly what's in this smoothie because it's pretty much in all of my what I eat in a day videos. And I even have a video all about how I make my smoothies. So check those out if you want all of the details. I'm gonna go enjoy my breakfast. I already did a little yoga this morning, like I do every morning, just to stretch out my body and get myself moving. And then after I eat breakfast, I'll make a cup of green tea before I head to my work from home office. Okay, let's talk about the starch solution. Basically, about 70% of your calories will come from whole plant food starches, and the rest will be mostly non-starchy vegetables and maybe some fruit. So for this meal, I'm starting with sweet potato. The other day I roasted a bunch of sweet potatoes. Here I have some Jersey sweet potatoes and purple sweet potatoes. With my lunch, I'm just going to have half of a Jersey sweet potato. And then I have some black rice, also known as forbidden rice. I'll throw that on there. And then I'm gonna to top it off with this barbecued tofu and jackfruit. Now, tofu isn't technically a starch, but it's okay to eat in small amounts according to Dr. McDougall. And since I have it mixed in with the jackfruit, that'll lower the calorie density some. And for my non-starchy vegetables, I'm having cabbage, peppers, and onions. I mix this up with some balsamic vinegar, mustard, and a little bit of tahini. My plate is pretty much following that 70% starchy and 30% non-starchy formula. But if you are trying to lose weight, a really easy way to do that is simply to increase the amount of non-starchy, up to perhaps 50-50. But since I'm just maintaining my weight and I'm fairly active, I like to bump up the amount of starch. After lunch, I was still hungry. And on the starch solution, the idea is to eat until you are fully satisfied. Since you're eating such low calorie density foods, you don't have to worry about portion control. So I decided to have some more sweet potato. This time I went for one of those purple sweet potato. It's so beautiful inside. I warmed that up in the microwave and then I'm putting some frozen cherries and a chopped date as well as a few walnuts on top. I love the combination of the warm sweet potato with the cold cherries. It makes a really delicious dessert. It gives me the same kind of feeling as something like a cobbler and ice cream sort of dessert. For dinner, I used some pantry staples along with a few things from my freezer to make a really fast dinner. This ended up being really similar to my Instant Pot Curry, which I've shared on the channel before. I'll put a link to that video, but I'll also include the written recipe for what I did today because it turned out to be really delicious. 
I wanted to use butternut squash, but I didn't have any on hand. So instead I used a bag of frozen sweet potatoes along with a bag of frozen mirepoix, which is just onions, celery, and carrots. And then I rinsed two and a half cups of yellow split peas from my pantry and then also added one box of vegetable broth. I seasoned it up with some curry powder, garlic and onion powder, black pepper, and I finished it with a little garam masala. Finally, I added a can of tomatoes on top. Pro tip when you're cooking in your Instant Pot, stir everything else together before adding your tomatoes and then just add them right on top. Sometimes tomatoes, if they get on the bottom of your Instant Pot, can cause a burn warning. So put them on top just to be safe. To go along with this, I cooked up some brown basmati rice, and then I also made a quick little salad. This week was the first week of my CSA. Last year, I made a bunch of videos about my CSA. Basically, what happens is you pay a farmer up front, and then all throughout the season, you get fresh produce. So this week was week one, and we got tons of gorgeous greens, as well as this beautiful purple radish. So I'll slice that up along with some other veggies, and then I'm topping it with an SOS-free balsamic dressing from Well Your World. For a little richness and crunch, I'm adding a few pumpkin seeds. And once again, I ended up with about 70% starches and about 30% non-starchy vegetables. And I decided to have a pear with my dinner as well. The great thing about eating all of these starches is it gives you tons of energy. So after letting my dinner digest, I decided to do an aerial workout. I've slowly been trying to get back into aerial. I used to teach it, but I haven't in a while. So I've lost a bit of my strength and stamina, but I'm getting back into it, fueling it with plants. That's about it for me today. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, leave a comment down below to let me know what you thought. Or if you have questions or ideas for what videos you'd like to see from me next, leave those down below as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, why can't I do this? Okay, get it together, girl. Okay.